Today on MT Jump Hacked, it's pre-release weekend for the Brothers War and we're getting stuck into an entire booster box here of set boosters. And let's take a look at the buyer box promo. So this is pretty cool. We've got Mishra's Foundry. So it's a land tap for colors for two. It becomes a 2-2 assembly worker artifact creature until end of turn. It's still a land for one tap. Target attacking assembly worker gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. And I like the retro border on that one as well. So without further ado, let's get to cracking here. So these have like 30 boosters. That's pretty cool. Nice dragon. And meet Mishra, meet Urza. The protagonists of the series here. So let's dig in. So we should have 10, 20... And 30. Alright, no box toppers this time. Alright, so let's get to cracking. They do have the pull tabs. Yeah, made in Japan. That's pretty typical for the first ones here. So we've got Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia. So there is the art card. And let's have a quick squiz here. So we have an island. Power Plant Worker, Mine Worker, Stone Retrieval Unit, Might Stone's Animation, Survivor of Corliss, Obliterating Bolt, Yoshin Frontliner, Third Path Iconoclast, and Elsewhere Flask. Okay, so we have Artifacts, and a Mythic, right off the bat, Surge Engine. Okay, we'll pop that up there. Foil Argothian Opportunist, and Dominaria's Judgment from the list. Okay. So now we will speed up a little, now that we know the pack structure, it's pretty much the same. I'm thinking you're getting uh, like one of these artifacts in each one. So we have a mountain with one of these awesome like kaiju type robots. And let's zip ahead here, anything, I'm not sure of the values, what is that? Oh, that's a rare. Okay, must be one of the commander cards. We have Staff of Titania. We've got a self-assembler and a mythic Saranth Great Worm. What the heck is that? Okay, two mythics already. Power Stone, Fracture, and what is the list? Okay, so we did get a peek at the list in that first pack. So that's not too shabby. Titania's Command for the art card. That would be an awesome pull, wouldn't it? Okay, so we will skip ahead here. We did get a foil island. And on to our artifacts here. We have Keening Stone, one of the Hedrons by the look of it. Sigil of Valor and Underground River for the rare. Foil Meticulous Excavation and a Power Stone, okay. So the Power Stones are going to be pretty uh, useful in this set. Didn't they have uh, Urza, uh, not Urza, um, Khan in the other one? We've got Mishra Excavation Prodigy with a signed art card. Nice, a young Mishra there. Pop that over there. Yeah, I think Khan was the one with the uh, generated Power Stones, didn't he? Okay, so we have a Pristine Talisman. Swift Foot Boots and Fauna Shaman for the rare, along with Hulking Metamorph Foil and a Troll card. I hate that. So, some of the earlier sets when they had the list, you could tell if you were getting a list pool, but uh, they've changed it up in more recent sets. We have Depth Charge Colossus. So, this guy is massive. Some fantastic artwork in this set for sure. And skipping ahead here to the artifacts, we've got Ivory Tower, Soul Guide Lantern, and Queen Kyla Bin Krug. I think that was the promo in the pre release, uh, in the bundles actually. Foil Scatter Ray and Shield of the Oversoul from the list. Okay, so the list, in case you're not aware, one in four set booster packs. It's a curated list of cards from throughout Magic history. And what? They've got Mox Amber here. Okay, I must have missed that in the previews. That's going to tank the price. And a Foil Planes. 
So the Mox Amber, I believe from Dominaria originally. And on to our artifacts, we've got Mishra's Bauble, awesome. Argoth Sanctum of Nature, flipping it around. Okay, so this is the one you need the other half. We need to look for Titania Gaia Incarnate. Or maybe that's what it's transformed into. We'll see about that. Let's pop that over here out of the way. So we can keep track. Excavation, Explosion, and just some punch-out cards. Nothing too exciting there. Okay, so lots of artifacts. We've got a Plains. Another one of those uh, robot things, vehicles, a foil forest, and we will go to the good stuff here. We have a Phyrexian Revoker. Okay, lots of Phyrexians in this set as well. Autonomous Assembler for the rare, foil, Lauren, Disciple of History. Oh no, a magic minigame, Urza's Blueprints. No! Okay, we have a whole thing about the minigames around here. I really don't like them. Maybe despise is too strong a word. We've got Urza, Power Stone Prodigy. So we saw that guy earlier. Aren't there like three different ages? Reminds me of House of the Dragon when they aged up those characters. And here we go, on to the artifacts. We've got Liquid Metal Coating. Followed by Mishra's Foundry for the rare. Battlefield Forge Borderless. Fantastic. And a Laser Beak token. Oh, those Transformers, they are more than meets the eye. Should there be a trademark symbol after that, maybe? Ashnod's Altar. I'm probably too lazy to put that in during editing, but it would be funny. And that is a pretty. Awesome uh, art card there. We've got a Swamp. Liking what they've done with those. It's like War of the Worlds type robots. And Sword of the Meek. Okay, a rare artifact. Burnish Heart and Gix's Command for the rare. Foil Tornos's Tinkering and a Troll card. They keep trolling us people. I don't know which would you rather, a Troll card or a Magic Mini game. Tough choice. We have Defabricate. Zapping the robots. And now I'm like flinging stuff everywhere. Uh, we've got a mountain. Alright. Onward to Thorn of Amethyst. Really like the artwork on these. Gwena Eyes of Gaia. Another rare Geology Enthusiast. And, what is the list with a spirit token on the other side? Okay, grabbing two packs there. That'd be a bit tricky to open two at once, I think. Brotherhood's End. I'm pretty sure Rudy could do it, though. But we ain't that level of pack-cracking speed around here. Uh, we've got an island. And where am I putting those? I'm putting them down here, apparently. Just randomly assorted. And for our artifact, we have Self Assembler, who somehow went out of focus. Ornithopter, Fateful Handoff is the rare. Foil Lawrence Escape, and Yushin Soldier from the list. So this is originally printed in Battle Bond. Excellent. Okay, so three list pulls so far. We have a Forest. Which one is this? Oh, that looks like a, almost like a Phyrexian uh, creature. And there's a little dude down the bottom there. I don't know if you could see him. Gives you some idea of the sense of scale. And we have a pristine talisman. Along with fortified beachhead, foil, Gaia's gift. And power armor from the list. Nice. And is that... Invasion, I'm going to say. I think that's the set symbol. Okay, so four cards from the list. I think normally one of these boxes you would get, what would that be, like seven or eight total. We've got Gix, Yorgmoth, Praetor. Okay, so I wonder if we can pull Gix out of here. And a Plains. 
Alright. Oh, and a mythic. We've got a Aetherflux Reservoir. So add that to our mythic pile, which was looking a little thin for a while there. So three here. And Mishra's Command, Foil, Curate, and Punch Out Cards. Alright, really enjoying what I'm seeing of the set so far. Looks like a nice addition to Magic. We've got Soul Guide, Lantern, and they like to uh, mix things up a bit. So Artifacts are the big thing here. And we go on to the Artifacts again. Spring Leaf Drum. I think there's... Couple of different versions of artwork for this one. And Felden Ronom Excavator. For some reason I thought that was double-sided. Mishra Excavation Prodigy. And that one isn't either, okay. And a soldier token. So I'm gonna say we're a bit over the halfway mark. We have Take Flight. So some cool, uh, what is that? Some vehicle, is that an Ornithopter? Not sure, and we go on to uh, artifacts. We have Maze Mind Tome, followed by a mythic portal to Phyrexia. Ooh, that is a bad idea setting up a portal there, but the Phyrexians think it's a great idea. Ravenous Gigamole Mole Horror. Who did that naming? That's hilarious. And a troll card again. Please, with the trolling enough. We got a planes. Giant robot striding over the landscape. A mountain. And what else? Pretty sure there's no rares in those earlier slots. We got self-assembler. Hostile negotiations. Foil epic confrontation. And again, no list pull there. So we have Keening Stone on the next pack here. Another one of these artifacts. I like the uh, blueprint style that I've got on that one. And a Foil Planes. And... Oh, that is nice. We'll take that for sure. Gilded Lotus. Fantastic artwork. I like the retro border as well. Tyrant of Kerr Ridges, foil raised to the ground, and a magic mini game. Mishra's Manufactory. I think they've printed that one in uh, previous sets as well. Okay, on to Steel Seraph, which I remember we pulled that from the. Uh, collector booster box we opened. If you missed that video from yesterday, link in the corner, check it out. Some pretty crazy pulls there. Tons of mythics as usual. Oh, here's a rare. This must be, yeah, one of the commander ones. We've got Disciple of Kalis Nin, along with Liquid Metal Coating, Fade from History, Sigil of Valor Foil, okay, with the Retro Border, and a Soldier. And they don't have the uh, serialized cards in here, do they? I think that's only in the Collector Boosters. We got Mishra Eminent One. So this is a slightly older Mishra, I would say not the oldest. I think they have like three different variants. We've got a Mountain. Okay, making sure we don't skip over. Ooh, a mythic Helm of the Host has been reprinted from Dominaria. Nice, another mythic. We're at like five now. Oh, Gix, Yorgmoth, Praetor, another mythic. That is craziness, a double mythic pack. And a foil disenchant. And Minsk, beloved ranger. Three Mythic Pack, what? Okay, we'll add that to the Mythic Pile. So that one's from the list. So we're at now seven Mythics, holy cow. Maze Mind Tome, that's pretty much the most you'll get out of these, I think. That's fun. I like the art on that one. And skipping ahead to, okay, here's our artifact. 
we have Jalum Tome, followed by Theresian Mindbreaker, Foil Mythic. We got Cyclonus the Saboteur, Transformer card, turns into Cyclonus Cybertronian Fighter. What do you think of the Transformers addition to this set? Seems a bit gratuitous to me, doesn't it? But what do I know? Maybe it'll get people to buy packs. Maybe they're like, oh, I like Transformers. I'll buy this magic set here. Inspiring Statuary. I think that's part of their plan, but I don't know how well that's going to work out, to be honest. And we go on. Did Was that a rat? Oh, Gnawing Vermin. Okay. And he's a purple rat. Maybe it's just the lighting. We've got Psychosis Crawler. For the artifact, Howling Mine, nice. And another mythic, one with the multiverse, fantastic foil, kill zone acrobat. And we were trolled yet again. That's all this video is. I don't think there are any troll creatures here, but just troll cards. We've got Mishra's Foundry with the signed art card that's an interesting signature there looks very geometric almost machine generated maybe it is and for our artifact we have icor wellspring followed by another mythic blade coil serpent this is insanity how many do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten mythics already foil Mine Worker and Ravage token. Okay, another Transformers token. So have they juiced up the number of Mythics or is this just a fantastic box? We've got Rust Goliath. And if you've opened a box already, leave a note in the comments how many Mythics did you get out of yours. Very curious indeed. Followed by Foundry Inspector. And Battlefield Forge, I sort of like the extended version better. Foil splitting the Power Stone. And finally from the list, we have Quest for the Nihil Stone. And what is that set symbol? I have no idea. Okay, let's continue. So I'm pretty happy with this box so far. Tons of mythic goodness. Fauna Shaman, no Planeswalkers yet though, unfortunately. With the signed art card here, or stamped. Alright, we've got one of these awesome creatures. A swamp. And skipping ahead. Okay, he's not a planeswalker. I was wondering if they had, like, uncommon planeswalkers here. And Titania Nature's Force. Mythic. Okay, is this one? No. Okay. Add it to the mythic pile though. I thought it might have been one of those other things. And a millstone. Lanawar Wastes. Foil Argothian Sprite. And what is the list? We've got Sahili on the other side. Is Sahili actually in the set as a planeswalker? Does anyone know? Actually must be because that's an emblem. So would be nice to get some planeswalkers here people. Skitter Beam Battalion. For the art card. And skipping ahead here. I've probably gone over some. Just skipped right past them. And we have Liqua Metal Coating. For the artifacts. Turkesia Dig Site Mentor. Foil Obliterating Bolt. And Loxodon Gatekeeper. For the list pool. And we had a Plains Avalanche here. It's going to keep falling over. Let's adjust that. All right. So we've got, what, five more packs left. We have Fauna Shaman. And the last time we got that one, it had the uh, signature on it, the stamp. We've got an island. Along with, what else? Mishra's Research Desk. Looking forward to slowing down uh, when we go through things a little bit slower. We've got Chromatic Star and Mechanized Warfare, Foil Junkyard Genius, and Planar Collapse. Nice. 
With heavy heart, Urza doused one world's light to rekindle another's. Ooh, do you know the lore associated with that? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so we have a Thran Spider. Interesting looking beastie. Is he throwing that or there's something leaping at it? And a Foil Mountain. Alright, and Black Blade Reforged, reprinted here with the uh, plan artwork. Soul Guide Lantern Blueprints, or whatever they call it. Gixian Puppeteer, and Foundry Inspector Foil, and a zombie. That is a fantastic zombie token. Last three packs, people. Okay, we have Mystic Forge along with a Swamp. Uh, let's see, I'm making a bit of a blooper there. Let's move on. We have Elsewhere Flask, okay, Artifacts, Ornithopter, and Hercule Master Wizard for the rare Foil Energy Refractor and a Punch Out card. I think we Used up all the mythics in that first uh, two thirds. We got Razor Lash Transmogrant. He looks pretty spiky. And a very nice island. Ravenous Gigamole. Who came up with that name? Who was it? I want to know. They deserve a raise. We got Precursor Golem. Bone Saw and a Mythic Voice or Titania Voice of Gaia. Is this what we've been looking for? Yes, Titania Gaia Incarnate. I'll grab that other card in a second. Foil Go for the Throat and a Soldier. Okay, so let's see if I can locate it in this pile here. So this joins together like so. Amazing. Artwork, if I can get it in focus, thanks. There we go. Titania, Gaia, Incarnate. Very cool. All right. And one more pack here. Let's get something crazy in the close. So we've got tons of Mythics. Really impressed with this box. Worm Coil Engine. That would be a nice pull if we could get one of those. And what do we get in a... Artifacts slot here. We have Sculpting Steel, not too shabby. Followed by Inspiring Statuary. Foil, or not foil, Blast Zone. And do we get a foil here? Yeah, Evolving Wilds. And that is it. Okay, so we did pretty well with the Mythic Tally. What was that, about a dozen Mythics or something? Let me know in the comments how you did. And if you've missed some of our other Brothers War content, check out this video in the corner. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.